Positive Affirmations Using Bible Verses I can see the kingdom of God because I am born again. I don't worry about everyday life. God knows my needs and meets them because I make his kingdom my primary concern. Jesus shows himself to me because I love him. Because Jesus died for my sins, I am no longer separated from God. I live in close union with him. The fruit I produce brings great joy to God, my Father in heaven. God's power works best in my weakness. Through the energy of Christ, working powerfully in me, I teach others his truths. I have been saved, not by works, but grace, so that I might do good works. My faith makes me whole in spirit, soul and body. When I call out to God he answers me. He tells me things I wouldn't know otherwise. Because I place my hope in the Lord, my strength is renewed. As I follow Jesus, as I walk with him, I have peace. Because I obey Jesus I remain in his love. John 15 10. The cross of Christ is my power. God meets all my needs. God is my refuge and strength, always ready to help me in times of trouble. God gives me strength when I am weary and increases my power when I am weak. Because I place my hope in God, I can soar like an eagle, run and not grow weary, walk and not be faint.
I set my heart and mind on things above. Not earthly things. This gives me peace. I guard my heart. Because it determines. The course of my life. I trust God at all times. Because he is my refuge. As I lose my life for Jesus sake. I find it. God keeps me in perfect peace because I trust in him and fix my thoughts on him. God is able to do immeasurably more in my life than I could ever imagine. I experience true life when I deny myself, turn from my selfish ways, and follow Jesus. I have the anointing of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. He teaches me the truth and empowers me to live a full life. I could not experience an abundant life except for Jesus and the cross. I love God's principles and meditate on them all day long. I live by faith, not by sight. I follow Jesus, no matter where he leads me. The same love that God has for Jesus is in me. I am being made holy by God's truths. It is by the grace of God and his love that I am saved by my faith. I can approach God directly, with freedom, and confidence, through faith in Jesus. I worship the Lord, my God, and serve only Him. I have great joy because I obey God's commands and remain in his love.
because I have written love and faithfulness on the tablet of my heart. I have favor with God. The fullness of God is available to me because I am deeply rooted in the love of Jesus. Ephesians 3 17 to 19. As I give up control, release my life to God, and allow Jesus to live through me. God-sized things happen. I do not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Because I believe in God and in Jesus, trouble leaves my heart. God pours out his love into my heart by the Holy Spirit. My life is bringing honor to Christ. God likes this. Because I fear the Lord and shun evil, my body is healthy and my bones are nourished. As I follow Jesus and walk in his way of holiness, gladness and joy overtake me. The Lord is my good shepherd. He provides for all of my needs. I was made in the image of God. How cool is that? God reveals his spiritual truths to me by his Holy Spirit. In God, I live and move and exist. Acts 17 28. I may never win an Olympic medal, but I've won a crown of everlasting joy because I know Christ. I continue to work out my full salvation as God works in me according to his good purpose. God does not look at my outward appearance. He looks at my heart. Because I seek the Lord with all my heart, I lack no good thing. The key to my fruit-bearing life is hearing God's truth and understanding it.
when I humble myself before God in prayer. He hears me, and I gain understanding. My faith that saves and transforms me comes by reading and understanding God's word. God's Holy Spirit, who lives in me, opens my mind to the deep truths in God's Word. I'm like a tree, planted by streams of water. My life bears fruit and prospers because I meditate on God's Word. More than anything else, I try to guard my heart, because it determines how I live life. I don't act thoughtlessly, but try to understand what the Lord wants me to do. God's Spirit in me is greater than any other spirit in the world. He enables me to live a victorious life. I am experiencing real life as Jesus intended. The Holy Spirit helps me understand God's truth when I read the Bible. Experiencing God and His truths, not knowing about Him and them, gives me abundant life. Because I feed on bread that comes from heaven, I have life and will live eternally. I give thanks to God because he is good and his love endures forever. I don't hide my light under a basket. I let it shine for all to see, so everyone will praise my Father. God forgives my wrongdoings and never remembers my sins. I am a new person, complete in Christ. If I don't stand firmly in my faith, I won't stand at all. I am able to keep my ways pure, but only by living according to God's word.
I run along the paths of God's commands because He has set my heart free. God is faithful. He'll complete the good work that He has begun in me. I alone am not competent. My competence comes from God. I give my anxieties to God and know that He'll take them because He loves me. This gives me peace. The Lord stands at my side and gives me strength to share His good news with others. As I lose my life for Christ's sake, I find true life in Him. I have life, now, and eternally, because of God's grace. It's not because of anything I have done. Because I've walked through Jesus' gate, I've found green pastures. When I'm distressed, I cry to God for help, and He hears my voice. God quiets my deep inner hunger because I am cherished by Him. When I cry to God for relief from the deepest pits of my life, He hears me. When I'm distressed, I cry to God for help, and He hears my voice. If I don't stand firmly in my faith, I won't stand at all. God is love, and He is in me, so I am love. Thank you, Jesus, for counting me faithful and putting me into ministry. Jesus died and rose from the grave for me. I'm blessed because I believe this and have not seen him. Though I have not seen the resurrected Christ, I believe in him and am therefore blessed. I am protected by the name of Jesus.
The Lord is good. I've experienced him. I have a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. Because of what Christ did on the cross at Calvary, I'm able to have a new life. When Christ died, I was set free from the power of sin. My negative feelings don't come from God, so I don't have to put up with them. Because God's Spirit lives in me, my spirit is alive, and I have true life. Someday I'll be in heaven, with my Father, because I know the way there, Jesus. Jesus Christ gives me victory over sin and death. When Jesus knocks on my heart's door, I hear him, let him in, and have fellowship with him. Because I follow Jesus, I know his voice, and he personally directs my steps. I do not fear death, because it's my doorway to heaven. The power of God works through me as I affirm that it's his treasure inside this jar of clay. As I cast my cares and burdens to God, he sustains me and I have peace. I am not afraid or discouraged because God goes before me and is always with me. I have entered the kingdom of God like a little child. My kind words are sweet to the soul, and healing to the bones of others. God blesses me with peace, and gives me strength. As I wait on the Lord and am courageous, God will strengthen my heart.
My God is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love. I try to spend time with wise people. This helps me become even wiser. I know the scripture, yes. But more importantly, I know Jesus. And in him I have life. 